Twitter beefs, memes, diss tracks. Shaq's known to disrespect whoever. And sometimes it got so bad, he ended careers. Shaq and JaVale McGee's beef got pretty bad. Like, Shaq's own mom had to get involved bad. And the drama started on Shaq to the Fool, where JaVale was constantly being used as a punching bag. Shaq and the guys would bash JaVale on air and put his mistakes out there for millions to see. Oh, post him up, JaVale! Post him up, JaVale! Hold him off! Hold him off! <laughs> Some time went by, JaVale joined the Warriors, and he started playing the best games of his career. But the second he made one mistake, the boys put him on blast again. JaVale McGee! Oh. Throws out a crazy alley hoop on an invisible mini hoop out of bounds. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said JaVale McGee wasn't no, going to be on anymore. Was gonna be off yeah, no, <laughs> you did. I said. Oh, his birthday. Oh. When JaVale first saw this, he was ready to square up with Shaq. But, you know, being across the country is not an option. So JaVale brought out his Twitter fingers and he started taking shots at Shaq. JaVale called him out saying, Shaq, get my nuts out your mouth and eat a d That is all. But uh, if you know Shaq, he takes everything personal. Whenever Shaq starts, he finishes. And that's exactly what he tried to do to JaVale's career. Shaq clapped back saying, now since you want a good team, you want to act like you a player now. Stop it. You will only be remembered for Shaq and a fool, bum ass. Don't be acting like you a G. I'll smack the shit out of your bum ass. You the one to be looking stupid with your dumb ass bum ass. <laughs> then JaVale responded with, you've had these nuts in your mouth for five or six years now. You thought I was just going to stay silent? And you already know Shaq how to do him dirty. He literally photoshopped JaVale on a homeless man. And then JaVale's teammate KD had to step in because, well, I mean, he just likes Twitter. JaVale, is work he works extremely hard. He's coming here and doing so much for us as a player. He only wants to be respected just like anybody else. And I understand that Shaq works for a company that you know, wants him to do that type of stuff. And make fun of players. It was cool and funny, but when you just keep going time and time and time again, and then a guy actually disagrees with you, when you threaten them, I ain't no cops could threaten civilians like that. And you're tripping if you thought Shaq would be all right with this. As soon as he saw KD's interview, he tweeted out, mind your own business. This ain't for you. I understand you're sticking up for your teammate. That's cool. But your boy JaVale is still a bum. He started it. I'ma finish it. Dude, things got so bad and went so viral, Shaq's own mom had to get involved. And you know when that phone rang, Shaq had to draw the line. Didn't it get out of hand, no, Shaq, when your mom has hand. to step in and his mom is stepping in? It didn't get out of hand, but my mother... There's someone who I love and respect, and she told me to stop it and don't bring it up again, so I'm not going to talk about it ever again. His name won't ever come out of my mouth ever again. Earlier this year when Shaq took shots at Rudy Gobert, it shocked everyone. But not many people know this beef started over two years ago. Back in 2019, Shaq made fun of Rudy for crying after he was snubbed from the All-Star game. There is no crying in basketball, Rudy. Right. Man up. <laughs> I love Get that. Get some icy hot on your face, Rudy. Rudy never responded to Shaq, nor have they ever played against each other, so the situation kind of came out of nowhere. Shaq decided the year was too long in between sending some shots, so he started going at him again. When Shaq appeared on the All Things Covered podcast, the topic of Rudy Gobert's contract extension came up. Rudy recently signed a five-year deal worth $205 million. That's the biggest deal for a center in NBA history. He can make $46 million in 2025 alone. That's nearly 20 million more than any season in Shaq's prime. And clearly, Shaq took some offense to this. Oh yeah, what do you think about that oh, contract? Yeah, we were gonna pay Rudy, I mean, he got 200 yeah, million, Rudy. Shaq. 200. I'm, I'm not gonna hate, but this should be an inspiration to all the little kids out there. If you average 11 points in the NBA, you can get 200 million. <laughs> but Shaq didn't stop there. He went to his Instagram and posted this Photoshop picture of Shaq dunking on Rudy with the caption, I would have had 45 points, 16 rebounds, 10 missed free throws, and three quarters. He would have had 11 points, four rebounds, and fouled out at three quarters. I'm a G. And Rudy tried clapping back, but uh, those tweets didn't end up uh, anywhere. <laughs> Shaq and Damian Lillard's beef got so bad, it turned into a rap battle. It all started when Dame showed up on Joe Budden's podcast. He was there to promote his upcoming album, but, you know, being an NBA player, Dame was asked how he stacked up to other MCs in sports. And when asked to compare his rap career to Shaq, Dame didn't hold back. You think you got better music than Shaq? I think I rap better than Shaq. You think so? Okay. Yeah. This set up one of the most entertaining beefs in sports history. Shaq heard Dame talk his trash, but instead of calling him out on Instagram, he went ahead and made a diss track. Now it's time to be disciplined. It's time to put up that belt. 
And we will little ass. Here we go. Saying things like, take your time to respond, there's no hurry. You'll never be Westbrook, never be Curry. What's in your wallet? American Express or Visa? Talking like you, Brian, you ain't even Trevor or Risa. Ooh, Dame heard this, and you know, like most rappers would do, he came at Shaq even harder. Dropping a disc called Rain, Rain, Go Away. You already know Dame took this beat personally, but he knew how great he was, so he wasn't scared to show someone like Shaq his skill. Dropping bars like, he say the goat, I come for his body. Platinum cause he bought all the copies. I filled a tank up with diesel. You jealous of me and I see you. Cause on this day, originals just can't f with the sequel. Ooh, the dame went even crazier saying, it'd be wise to move on Aristotle, cause it's a gimme. All the money in the world betrayed you for penny. Ooh, damn, ooh. Jesus, I'm fire right now. Huh, I'm sweating. Look, I, I don't care how great Shaq was in the NBA. This, this was the one time he couldn't defend himself. Shaq lost this one. Now when it comes to players beefing with Shaq, no one's safe. Not current players, not legends. Shaq doesn't care. He'll chew you up and spit you out. And as soon as Scottie Pippen took a single shot, Shaq tried to put his career in a hearse. It started in 2015. Shaq put up this picture of the best Lakers and the best Bulls ever. And it was captioned, we'd beat them by 50. What do you think? Let me know, don't hold back. And Scottie Pippen saw this post and he felt disrespected. So he responded with a post of his own. This time a pick with him and MJ. Caption, sorry Shaq, I don't get caught up in hypotheticals. All I know is we won six titles, twice the amount you claim while in LA. Ooh, <laughs> I don't think Shaq gonna be happy about this one. Yeah, 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 Shaq was mad. That's why he went so reckless as Scotty on the Dan Patrick show. It was the five best Lakers and the five best Bulls, and I said, we beat them by 50. That's how I feel, and I'm sticking to it. I didn't say, hey, at Scotty Pippen, we'll beat you guys by 50. I just said, I'll beat you by 50. Now, he made it personal when he said, oh, at Shaq, hey, I don't believe in hypothetical. So he swung first, so I'm going to swing second, and I'm going to swing last because I don't let bums disrespect me. Yeah, he was a great player, but... I'm the bridge, he's the water, he will always be under me. But the beef was just getting started. Immediately after this, things on Instagram heated up between the two. Shaq posted the same pic that Scotty had posted, but he photoshopped MJ's face on him and said, sorry Scotty Pippen, I don't believe in hypotheticals either. This guy did most of the work. Remember, I was Batman, you was Robin. I was Puffy, you was Mace. Ooh, and you think it'd be over after that, but Shaq was just living in Scotty's head rent free. Later that day, Scotty responded one last time with the one thing he had on Shaq, rings, saying game over Shaq, all that ever mattered to me is winning, and we did plenty of that in Chicago. But you know Shaq always got the last word. He posted Scotty's face, added it onto a fiddle, and said, the great Michael Jordan got you six rings. You'll always be remembered as Mr. Second Fiddle. Second behind him, second behind me. Game ain't over till I say so. Damn, Shaq heard me saying all that. Now probably the most infamous beef involving Shaq was between him and Dwight Howard. And their situation has been going on for over a decade. Dwight was drafted to the Magic, dressed up as Superman for the dunk contest, and eventually joined the Lakers. But that's also exactly how Shaq's career went. Drafted to the Magic, joined the Lakers, nicknamed Superman. It's a little weird, Dwight. So Shaq felt Dwight was doing everything to replace his legacy. Now, even though Dwight was a really good player, Shaq didn't give him any credit whatsoever. In 2012, Dwight's stats were better than any big in the league at the time, but Shaq wouldn't let anyone label Dwight as the best. Dwight Howard is the best big man in the game. Chucky, Jesus. Listen, you need to stop that. Not. You I'm need not. to, hey, listen, I'm you need to let Andrew this Bible. Superman hatred go. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Hey. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Listen to me. Andrew Bottom is a true big man. Back you down jump hook. Dwight Howard has one or two moves on the block. His one move is the running jump hook, and the other move is the pick and roll get it slam. And, and he's going to get the same number four. He's a much better defender and a much better rebounder. No way. I'll tell you what. But that wasn't it. The Lakers recently signed Dwight for the 2019 season, and when TMZ asked Shaq what he thought about it, well, uh, he said this. Lakers just signed Dwight Howard. How do you feel know. about that? Who? Dwight Howard. You don't know? Shaq's always just been petty when it comes to Dwight. Even during situations where it literally has nothing to do with Dwight at all, Shaq would still bring him up. Like this one time when Kobe did an interview, he claimed that he'd have 12 rings if Shaq hit the gym more, stayed in shape, wasn't lazy, all that. Somehow, that turned into Shaq dissing Dwight. When Shaq first saw this, he responded to Kobe and defended himself. And a lot of people thought it was turning into a beef between those two. But they addressed it on Twitter and claimed there was no beef. And instead, this is where Shaq decided to turn it into a situation about Dwight. This guy said D-White. 
The beef with these two is just out of hand. Shaq wouldn't even let Dwight celebrate the biggest moment of his career. After the Lakers won the championship, Dwight was posting pictures, videos, and he even gave an emotional speech. But Shaq said this about the guy. You know what I don't like as a player though? What's that? So a lot of players on their little Instagram bragging like they were the reason they got the championship. Okay. Sit you your know? ass down. You didn't do nothing. Stop it. <laughs> but I already know well, who you're talking about. You know I, it too. I know you know who I'm talking I about. Know. Stop it. There Front were... runner. Post one pick and sit your ass down. <laughs> Shaq and Charles Barkley have disrespected each other a ton throughout their careers. But back in 1999 is where their beef really started. But see, you know, they've moved past this, somewhat. Now they're teamed up on Inside the NBA where they debate things live. And plenty of moments over the years got completely out of control. Like back in 2017, when Shaq agreed LeBron needed some help added to the Cavs. Charles disagreed since Cleveland had just won a championship, but Shaq took things very personally. You played for a team that had Big Four. You forgot about that? You, you Akeem, oh, Scotty. First of all, it doesn't was, matter. No, no, that wasn't, that wasn't even close. That was, it doesn't that, matter. No, it's not it, even close. It doesn't matter. We were all old men way it, past our prime. It doesn't matter. This guy matter. just won the championship. He got a young Kyrie Irving and a, and a terrific Kevin Love. And yeah, now, but it takes more than that to win the championship. They just won the championship. What do you mean it takes okay. more? <laughs> okay. They it's just won the championship. First of all, you know nothing about going back to back. No, I do no. and Kenny do. Now, in most debates between these two, it always ends with Shaq yelling as loud as he can. And when Charles tried to give his opinion on the 2018 playoffs, Shaq was not messing around. He ain't got to repair nothing. He got to stop baby the play. You got, got baby, that's why you ain't win. He got to I didn't have Dwayne, I didn't have Dwayne Wade and Kobe Bryant carry me up and down the court. So why are you not oh, on you, the Because I got three finals MVP, because, because, Chuck. Because you, you, Google me, Chuck. Those guys, everybody, everybody Google me, Chuck. You player. see that? Everybody Google me. you're a great player. You don't know that what you're talking about when it comes to No, that ain't got to not. He got to step up and play. We all didn't have other players carrying play us up and down the court. You can yell as much as you want I got three finals MVP, I mean, you are a great player. There's even been times where these two almost fought on air. Like in 2019, when Charles started calling Shaq names. Mr. Sensitive. No, I ain't no Mr. Sensitive. Okay. Do it again. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> don't you want to weigh in on this no, game? No, I don't want to weigh in. No. Don't, no. Do you don't, don't, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it, Shaq. Yeah. You know what I'm Mr. telling you. Mr. Sensitive. Yeah. No, I ain't sensitive. I'm going to knock your ass out. Of <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Shaq takes his opinion seriously, especially when it comes to the playoffs and winning championships. And whenever Charles tries to get in the way of that, Shaq lets him know the two of them aren't on the same level. A few years ago when the Cavs were in the finals, Shaq didn't hold back when Charles interrupted him. Another must win for Cleveland? You, oh my goodness. You, you, you don't want to mess around, Chuck? You, you have no idea what we're talking about. because It's you, a real must because, win for Boston. Because you've only been to the finals once. So I didn't know I was riding on Dwayne Wade's and Kobe's coattails. Doesn't matter, Chuck. I got the same yeah. thing you got and I passed you up I'm 10 years ago. Just letting you know. If anyway, I had been riding anyway, on Kobe's coattails and anyway, Dwayne Wade's anyway, and Alonzo Mourning, too. Guys. I forgot about must him. Must win for those guys. Everybody knows you're a bum. Rick Fox. People and question why you're in the Hall of Fisher. Fame anyway. Why so, did because, that get so personal when no, we're no, because, talking about game five? I mean, no, because Chuck always interrupt me. Don't interrupt me, Chuck. I'm going to punch you right in your face. Yeah, 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 I'll tell yeah, you. What, he, he, okay. He uh, we're going to be moving you. some furniture. Okay, okay, I'm going to throw right, one right. of these chicken wings at your fat ass. Okay, okay. <laughs> you going right to like what, you gonna grab like what those birds do. you going to do what? Come on, man. Quit going to run. I got to man. Yeah. No, come on, man. You don't want to get on this old cheap suit Kenny got on. Papa was a roller stab with a Shaq can say all of these crazy things because, well, he's got the rings to back it up. Even when he was overweight, he was still a dominant force. But these guys, they let themselves go and haven't been the same since. Some of these guys gained hundreds of pounds, became criminals, armed robbers. It's just ridiculous, dude. <laughs> so what are you doing? You need to click on this video, man.